What's up everybody? Okay, I told you yesterday that I would review this Sumiko Gurashi projector light, so here we go. This thing is pretty sweet, it's got a couple of different settings, and it has a dome that you can remove so you can see the projection or see the projections on the top of the dome. First, let's take a look at the projections on the top of the dome. You got an A button, a B button, and the C button. The A button simply turns an orange light on and off, kind of more of a backlighting. Then the B button cycles through the different colors for the projections. There's a red, a blue, a green yellow, a green blue, and also a setting for all the colors to run at once. Oh yeah, and that final button, the C button, gets the entire globe to spin around so you can get the projections to spin on the wall or the ceiling. Here's a good look at that center projection as I cycle through a few of the colors. Slightly more difficult to see with the light on, but there are a few characters, like the Neko Cat that's in the center of the projection, or Tongatsu, or any of the other seven or eight characters that's included in the projections. Although it's kind of hard to see the projections with the light on, once you turn the light off, it's a lot easier to see, and looks way better in the dark. Those characters only being projected on the top of the globe with the cap on would work really good as a conversation piece or just some ambiance in the room. This blue color with the orange backlight is probably my favorite. It really makes the characters stand out as far as the projections on the top of the globe go. Now let's take it to a dark room to see the projections on a wall. Wow, pretty powerful for a small 3 AA battery projection light. With the stars and the moon, it truly makes those Sumiko Gurashis look like constellations. The projector cycles through a couple different colors. You got the orange, got a red and a green. Looks more like Christmas colors. Then you have a combination of colors where you'll have the blues and the greens together. Also got the red and the blues together. And the more colors you add, the more projections you get out of the same stencils. The blue and the red together has a laser look and effect. The final two settings are all of the colors projected at once. It really reminds me of Christmas and the star at the top of the tree. When you turn the light on and it spins around, you get a projection on the ceiling kind of similar to this. The final settings got all the colors oscillating through every projection and spinning. Let me know if you guys like these product reviews and let me know which prize you want me to review next. Thank you for watching.